Hi, my name is Lindsay and I'm Group General Counsel of Supergroup PLC. I guess our department sort of splits into two areas. One, creating a foundation to allow the business to grow effectively. And then the second is sort of proactive, strategically helping the group. And by that, what I mean is if we wanted to do business in a different country or we wanted to enter into a new type of product area, then we would help to clear the market and then help to support that growth by introducing the structures and the contracts that are needed to do that. I'm Adam Smith. I'm Senior Legal Counsel working in the Legal Department in Cheltenham. My role is focusing on the international part of the business, so I look after a lot of the relationships with licensees and franchisees, be those close to home within Europe or much farther afield in Asia Pacific and the States and Australasia. I also look after um, expanding into new territories where we want to open our own businesses, such as in Italy or the Far East. For legal, it's very much general commercial contracting um, plus corporate work. So that's looking at all of the contracts across the business, whether that's franchise, distribution, supplier, um, and making sure we've got both standard agreements that work for us, but also understand the risks in any old contracts that we have. Uh, we also manage all the litigation, so there's lots of claims in this business. Normally we're bringing them against other people, which is a nice place to be. Um, so we will work with external advisors normally to do that, who are specialists in their area. Um, the intellectual property team is very key for this business because our business is very much about brand and so we really do fight to maintain and, and protect the brand that we have, which is the super dry mark. Um, and so the intellectual property work team works to register all of the trademarks we need around the world, um, to challenge where other people are trying to register similar types of marks. Um, and we also work to bring claims against those people who breach either our trademarks or our design rights or so where they copy our product. Um, and we do that globally. Hi, I'm Toby Abbott. I'm the Corporate Responsibility Manager at Superjoy. Superjoy's vision for corporate responsibility is to assist the business in ambitious business growth while simultaneously having a positive impact on people and on the planet. And in doing so, we want to ensure that our customers can purchase Superjoy products safe in the knowledge and with confidence that we have created them with integrity. Firstly, we look at environmental sustainability improvements, that's around energy and waste and, and product. And then we have a, an ethical trading program which looks to improve social conditions throughout our supply chain in our factories. And thirdly is the community investment initiative, Superdry 360, which looks at recognising and working with our key stakeholders around the world. I'm Martine Harrison, I am the Assistant Company Secretary and IP Assistant in the Legal Department. The purpose of our role is to ensure we comply with all the regulatory requirements, corporate governance guidelines and the listing rules is very important because we are a PLC um, listed on the stock exchange. You have different ways of making sure things happen, I guess from um, store level right up to the directors it's 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 making sure everybody understands that we've got an obligation maybe a certain piece of leg legislation and it's just making sure we can communicate that well enough to make sure that they do meet that requirement and then on brand protection which is probably one of the sexiest areas we have um, that's very much about making sure we have investigators in all regions to keep an eye on where we have counterfeit product or where it's being produced um, major regions for that, as, as the same with any other product in the world, China, Turkey and some of the Eastern European countries. So we have investigative networks that cross those regions. Uh, we have investigators that go in and raid those factories together with either the police or with civil authorities. And then we bring claims against them to either recover damages or, or it'll be criminal claims in some markets. And that's quite exciting because day to day we get to work with customs authorities and we get to work with some of the investigators, which is obviously quite an exciting place to be.